Hello. Four books. One by me and three I love. Um, my book, which is coming out this week, is Light Perpetual, a novel about London. Um, a novel that begins with a V2 missile going off and killing its entire cast, five small children, um, but which then tries to lay out the lives that they might have had, those, those little bunch of very varied souls who would, if they'd lived, have gone on to see London completely and utterly transformed. Um, and the book is arranged as a set of days. It, it, it stilt walks onwards through the decades, landing every 15 years or so, um, and follows a day each in each of five very contrasting lives. Um, my last novel, Golden Hill, was a very plotted book. It was a it was a kind of high speed romance in which I, I wound up the main character and set them sprinting through the plot. And this one is it is well, is it slower? No, I'm not sure it is. It's it's more patient. It's more about all of the ordinary ways that that time affects us in our lives. Sometimes it goes slow, sometimes it goes fast, sometimes it goes with aching, painful slowness, and sometimes as it does when we're very happy it flies by. Um, it's a book about time, it's a book about how we live in time and and how we understand our lives. It's it's a book about London. It's it's about what it means to 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 fit into a big city and the way that it changes us and and in our microscopic ways we change it. Um, which brings me to the first book I'm going to enthuse about, which is <laughs> No, it's not this book. It's another Zadie Smith novel, um, N.W., which I've been tragically separated from my, my copy of by lockdown. N.W. is one of the great London novels, um, and Zadie Smith is a great London writer. Um, she began with white teeth with a kind of hectic, everything at the same time portrait of the, of the, of the speed and diversity of London. But N.W. is, is a, a much closer up book. It is full of beautiful and tender and precise noticing of a small group of lives which woven together give you something, I think I will use the word, something quite like the soul of the piece of North West London it's set in. Um, I, learned, I learned a lot from it. I reread it every so often. I can't really read it at the moment because it's in another city. Um, but it's all set in the present. Um, and since I'm interested in the dimension of time, I also wanted to enthuse about this um, a Penelope Fitzgerald historical novel, part of the group of late masterpieces that she that she produced. Um, almost impossible to summarise because Penelope Fitzgerald was a magician of a writer who achieved her effect so concisely that there were always about five things going on at once. Part of, you know, one of which is always dry, dry humour, but it's a book about physics and coincidence and moments of grace and just because it can, it's got in the middle a complete M.R. James horrifying ghost story, not written by M.R. James, but written by Penelope Fitzgerald, because she brought him on as a character, and, you know, why not? Um, I'm strongly in favour of this kind of, kind of, showing off, I think, I think that's the word, yeah. Um, finally, I want to enthuse about this. You can't tell what it is from the cover, it's an old library edition, but it is, in fact, Michael Shabon's very great The Yiddish Policeman's Union. Um, possibly the most completely pleasurable book I've ever read. Every single sentence is is a delight to read. Every single sentence is a pleasure-giving gizmo of one kind or another. So long as you allow pleasure to come in every conceivable flavour, not only sweet but sour, tragic, terrifying, uh, ingenious, all of those things, as many flavours of pleasure as there are shades of experience. Um, it's one of my talisman books and one of the things that has given me the permanent ambition myself to try to write sentences which give pleasure even when what they're describing is is awful or in itself no fun at all. A kind of 
immaculately joy-giving noticing of human experience in all its varieties. And now I've probably gone on for too long, um, even though I'm talking as fast as I possibly can. <sighs> Thank you. Bye.